I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada at Boxables Factory 2. They got one Boxable unit here and a ton more that are getting shipped to Arizona soon. They're also experimenting with a few different designs and we're gonna get to sit down with the CEO, Galliano Tiramani. For now, let's take a look inside their Factory 2. I think this is an exclusive first tour. Welcome to Factory 2. This is where they'll be building out the next generation of the Boxable production line. And it's also a space for storage for all the equipment and materials they'll need. They have a ton of space. This is slightly smaller than their old factory. And you can see all of the storage bays they have set up over here. They're gonna be scaling up tremendously and shipping tons more units. They're already at 300 and something, and they're building them at a more and more rapid pace all the time. I also just heard they're gonna be increasing the automation on their production line, which is really exciting for this channel at Automate Construction. I'm here with some of the Boxable crew that helps do the work on these Boxable units. How's it going, guys? Good, good. What do you think? Is, uh, is Boxable gonna change the world? Yes, I think it is gonna change the world. It's gonna get better housing, better prices, smart homes, like Tesla and all that stuff. I started construction right um, as soon as the pandemic started because that company I used to work for went downhill. So what kind of problems did you see with the traditional construction industry that this helps to solve? Uh, I mean, you're not at a job site. You're like at a nicer area than being around dirt all the time. Yeah, sweet. Thank you, man. I appreciate the time. All right, man. Thank you. Here's some of the different test finishes on Boxable units. We'll get some drone footage of this later after we talk to Galliano about them. Last time I did a tour of a Boxable unit, they were shipping their bathrooms in from Australia, but now they're making them custom. They've also made a few other subtle changes to their home design, so we're going to take another tour. Here's the current Boxable showroom unit. The last one we went in was the old version, and this is their brand new model. The door is a lot nicer. It's a huge yellow door, almost something that's... Uh, quintessentially boxable. I think this is a, their logo color and it's really unique. They've got cameras over here. I don't know if that comes standard or it's just for this uh, public facing demonstration unit, but if we come inside, it starts a self-guided tour. I heard there's a little yellow button somewhere around here we can shut it off. So here's the kitchen of the unit. It's basically divided into four sections. They're not all evenly sized. You have a little more space in the living area, less space in the bathroom. And the kitchen's got all the regular stuff. We've seen box full units before. This is maybe a little cleverly, more cleverly spaced out. I don't know, they, it seems like they've made a few adjustments, even though it's the same size structure. It feels like a bigger space in here. Uh, I believe it's the same ceiling height as before. This is the bedroom area. Keep in mind, this is a 20 by 20 unit, so 400 square feet total. And uh, we come in here in the bathroom and they have those smart mirrors along with a really nice shower boxable logo in there which tells us this is custom i don't think they had this before i know they used to ship their bathrooms from australia uh as a prefab unit they have all kinds of cool features in here but we've seen this before pretty soon we'll do a podcast with galliano tiramani so make sure to check that out on the automate construction podcast link down in the description i got an awesome tour of the new facilities that boxable is building and the additions to their old facilities. It's incredible how many boxable units I saw sitting in the parking lot. The very first time I was here years ago, they only had three units built. There's more than seven rows of eight here alone and many more scattered around the facility. These units will be shipped to a mining company in Arizona. Galliano and I got the chance to catch up and talk about how he grew from the three units they had when I first met him to the 300 plus they've built today. You can check out a clip from that podcast later on in this video or go to the Automate Construction podcast and it's been uploaded now on its own YouTube channel plus the Spotify platform and any other place you might listen to podcasts. Just search the Automate Construction podcast. We've done 56 episodes at this point with a bunch more good ones coming on the way. What's the current start to finish time on one unit? So we're building about two houses per shift, per wow. 10 hour shift. Um, and uh, definitely making uh, you know big, big improvements on that, like like all the time. Uh, it's and, one shift and, a day, right? And that yeah, just doing doing um, uh, uh, four ten hour shifts per week, um, and and really not looking to ramp up or go super fast until we get to that next gen, mm -hmm. until we implement this new equipment, until we move into that other building, and then things will go to a whole other level. We expect that we'll be able to do five thousand. Um, in these two buildings once this this is is ramped up. Um, so we'll see if we, if we can get there. Yeah, nice 
And so it seems like you're able to make a lot of customization to the units, like cutting holes in different places, circles, uh, right in the floor. Yeah, I mean, we, we can. Uh, we, don't, we don't want to. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the, the circle you're talking about is, is for the IBS unit, where we're actually taking three 20 by 20 modules and connecting them together into, into one house. So it'll be two boxes, ground floor, and one box on the top with, with a roof deck. Uh, and, cool. and the cool thing about the laminated panel system that we're using versus lumber framing is you can literally just go with a saw and cut like a crazy shape out of the wall and it's still good to go. It's still structural. Um, and, you know, later on uh, down the line, once we scale up a little bit, we'll definitely have certain types of customizations built in and hopefully they will be like crazy, like on the fly, like somebody will go on the website on a 3D configurator, configure the home that, how they want it, mm -hmm. get order, and then boom, it sends it out to the manufacturing floor and the house that comes out is what they put into the, the software. My favorite part of my job is when I visit a company that's 10 times bigger than the first time I did a video with them, and I hope they can grow 10 times more. Nothing's cooler than watching construction automation companies change the way we build and increase the number of units built with robotics and automation. In our podcast episode, Galliano even dropped a few hints that their factory will have much more robotics in the future. Let's take another look at that factory too. It's empty now, but pretty soon Boxable will have this filled out with all those robots we were talking about in their brand new manufacturing line. This is where they'll have a lot of storage. Boxable is known for ordering a ton of parts so they don't run out. This was extremely helpful for them during the supply chain squeeze. I can't wait to see what they're going to build in this brand new space. In the meantime, here's an interesting feature I noticed outside. They have three Boxable units attached together. This is for the IBS show, and it demonstrates how Boxable isn't just for 400 square foot tiny homes. They also have this 1200 square foot concept. Those weren't the only concepts laying around the Boxable facility. Outside of their huge headquarters one, I also noticed a couple others that were unique, implementing different types of finishes showcasing all the options that Boxable clients might have in the future. That first orange one is the unit we toured earlier. We get to these four units which each look quite different from each other. The one on the far right is just a plain Boxable unit but having a Tesla charger on it. Then you have one that looks like a Lincoln Log Home and then you have a different color roof without the Lincoln Log finish next to a flat roof and there's actually five units here. The two on the left seem to be covered in some kind of stucco with one of them having a knee-high barrier a parapet. I know that lots of other YouTubers have done videos at Boxable. Hopefully we got a little new spin on it today and seeing the factory too was interesting for you even though there's nothing there yet. So if you enjoyed today's video, drop a like and subscribe.